All right, so start this video. Pretty much middle of nowhere. Nowhere, Ohio. But this is the birthplace of Warren G. Harding. You can see it by the historic marker here. November 2nd, 1865. And they've got a little flag here to remember him by. I assume that this says something. Yep, right here. Warren G. Harding, home site. Pretty freaking cool. Now we're gonna head to his boyhood home. So, still here in front of the birthplace site. Um, so that is located in Blooming Grove, Ohio. Um, very small town in Morrow County. We're now going to Marion County where basically Harding spent most of his life uh, except for when he was president and he was in the White House. So the rest of this video will be in Marion County. This is the only location in Morrow County. But this is where he was born. So Blooming Grove. How about that name? Okay. This town is super quiet right now. But I am in Caledonia, Ohio. And then, so here's the post office. So directly across. It's, I don't think this is the original house, obviously. But you can see the marker right there. I'll walk over to it. That is the boyhood home of Warren G. Harding. So here it is. There's your marker. Boyhood home, Warren G. Harding. Okay, don't know if you can hear me or not. It's super loud, but we are in downtown Marion, Ohio now. Um, I'm gonna head over to the Marion Star. I'm gonna show you the building that Google's showing me where it's at, and then I'm gonna show you also um, I'm going to show you also where I think it used to be because I remember there was a sign as you went over this overpass that said Marion Star, but um, let's go take a look. We also might check out the Harding Hotel, which was a hotel named after President Harding. There's some cool stuff in the lobby if I'm able to get in there, but uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm switching over my phone here because I'm an idiot and the camera is dead. Stupid. Um, but looking for the Marion Star, not really having any luck. However, if you look at this building, for years, I think this was the old Marion Star location because there used to be a sign up here that said the Marion Star. Um, trying to find, I might as well stay here because it's way too loud over there. Trying to find the, the new location. Couldn't really find anything. Walked down the street a few times, looking it up online. It looks like maybe it's gone now or something, but <clears throat> the point of this being Warren G. Harding, at a very young age, uh, I believe right out of college, bought the failing Mar Marion Star newspaper, uh, turned into a success, and still to this day, I don't know if they still print newspaper because do they still make newspapers? But they have like a website, they still have news, it's still an ongoing business that Warren G. Harding purchased uh, at a very young age, right before he started getting into politics. He may have been starting into politics at that time, but yeah, Marion Star, Warren G. Harding, pretty dope. Let's go uh, see if I can get to the Harding Hotel and see if I can get inside the lobby. I don't know if you still can or not. We're going to find out. Like I stated a little bit ago, <clears throat> camera is dead now. The Hotel Harding. And if I remember right, this lobby was really dope, but I don't know if you can go. Well, let's see where this takes us. I think this is the lobby. It's not an apartment complex, so let's see what we can get. It's almost exactly like I remember it. Pretty amazing to see this. Like I said, this is now an apartment complex. Here's a little sign here. Garden Center. Grand Ballroom. Wow. Um, Oh, there's that painting. So this painting is super cool. This used to be in the lobby. Also, look at these stairs. Yeah, 
God, look at this painting. Photograph, I guess. Look at that. I know the glare is super bad. I'm going to keep searching around and see what else I can find. Still up here on the second floor. You can look down here and see the the lobby area. Um, there is a sign over here that says Grand Ballroom. I'm going to sneak in there and see what I see. It's right here. Grand Ballroom. this little area here you can that'd be the dance floor I imagine get up here get down with your bad self in 1920 and then this would be the room they do host events here you can rent this out pretty neat so Harding Hotel, or as I just found out, is actually Hotel Harding. It's a pretty tall building. I think there's like eight or nine stories tall. Right across the street is the Marion Palace Theater, which is another really cool historic building. Um, my buddy Gary actually used to work here. Very neat place to see. I actually saw Weird Al Yankovic right here years ago perform. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think it also must have been called the Harding Center at one point. Hotel Harding. It has many of names. Um, this right here. So you can see this is kind of like a little diner area. Um, there used to be a donut place. There used to be a donut place called Eight Sisters that set up there. And this is a very weird story. It has nothing to do with Harding. I just know this. Um... Hillary Clinton was running for president uh, a couple years ago with Donald Trump and she was in Ohio campaigning and she actually stopped through Marion and went in there and got an Eight Sisters Donuts. <laughs> it's the weirdest story I've ever heard and I think it was published by the Marion Star so there's the link. But uh, yeah, so Hillary Clinton has been inside Hotel Harding. No matter what you think about her, that's pretty insane to say. Here is a view of the Hotel Harding. Like I said, it's a, for downtown Marion, this is probably one of the tallest buildings here. Pretty neat. Pretty neat to see. Doing some research here. Um, obviously, it's cold out. You can see how red my nose is. Um, this building was opened in 1924. Uh, Warren G. Harding passed away in office in 1923. We'll get to that, but I just want to state that he actually never did anything with this. It was just named after him, um, and it was not fully done until after his death. Now, I've been told that when he was president, Marion was kind of like a vacation in the, in the early 20s. Vacation area, people wanted to see where the president was, where he grew up. So Marion was getting ready to become a vacation area. So there's a lot of railroads and things like that going through Marion, preparing for visitors. Um, after Warren G. Harding's death, the town pretty much didn't see any visitors anymore. And so that that's a really a reason why this hotel was built, was to house visitors from all over the country that wanted to come here and check out Warren G. Harding's stuff. So that's it. That's kind of a little bit of a history of it. Now it's an apartment complex. Yeah, that's... Uh, Let's let's go to the next spot, okay? We got some we got some really cool stuff left. Right down the street from the Harding Hotel, Harding Center, Hotel Harding, whatever, is the presidential home of Warren G. Harding. Now he lived here. He ran his uh, presidential campaign from here. Um, people would crowd the streets to see him talk when he was running for president. This is his house. Obviously, he went from here to the White House, and then he passed away. But this is his house. This is the house of Warren G. Harding. The official sign of the official house of President Warren G. Harding. Here is the house. And you can see this crazy looking porch. 
Um, you can tour the inside of it. Um, and recently, <clears throat> I did tour it. However, they don't allow filming inside. And because of that, I will not be touring the inside of it today and showing you guys. It is really neat to see. I definitely recommend it. It's pretty reasonably priced. Um, and you get to see the house pretty much just how it was when he left. But this is it. Warren G. Harding's presidential home. Here I will show you the back part of the house. Which leads me into one of the newest things that Marion has built for uh, Warren G. Harding and all of his memorabilia. And it is this building right here. This is the Warren G. Harding Presidential Library and Museum located right behind his home. And it's, it said it was, on, it was open online. However, I am the only vehicle in this parking lot besides that truck there which is like a, a service vehicle for the actual site. So I actually don't know if it's open in here or not. There's only one way to find out. You see the Warren G. Harding marker here, and you also see down here, it is closed. January 1st through 18th, exhibit resets for cleaning, and then it will reopen on January 19th. So I am here, and it is closed. And this video is totally ruined because of it. Fear not! We are getting ready to do something I didn't think I was gonna do, but this is the only way to complete this video. Back way when, probably almost two years ago, Lug and I went here right as this place opened, and I never published the video. But guess what? Today, we're gonna rewind. I'm gonna see how much different I look. I'm gonna play that video now. And it'll show you some of the stuff that's inside, some of the artifacts, things like that. I cannot believe that footage is gonna be used for this. But here it is, here's the footage, and I'm gonna drive to the next site while you watch the footage. John, dude. Huh? I have running water. Huh. <laughs> like. This was free, I took it from work. Like, there's wa running water in the house. We're gonna go check out, um, I don't know, the Harding Home and Museum and all that bull crap. It's gonna be sweet. I can't wait. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for years. <laughs> Cemetery for our next Warren G. Harding life location.
Look at this freaking creepy tree, man. Okay, let me get my finger out of the lens. This is the part where I got to talk about Warren G. Harding a little bit because I did say life and we are at his death. So Warren G. Harding was president at the beginning of the 1920s. Actually, at the time, perceived as like a great president. A lot of people liked him while he was in office. Um, he was very popular. And uh, one notable thing about him is his election was actually the first election for women to vote. It's kind of notable in that sense. Women did not have the right to vote till his election. From what I hear, I don't know how true this is, but Warren G. Harding was looked at as a pretty good looking guy. And they believe that women voted for him because he was so handsome. Now, freaking, I don't freaking know if that's real. That's just what I've been told. Who knows? But yeah, so women, the first election women could vote in, they voted for Warren G. Harding to be a president. And uh, vice president was Calvin Coolidge, who took over after his death. So that's where I'm getting at. So Warren G. Harding died in 1923. He was on vacation in San Francisco. Um, I think he had cardiac arrest. He had a heart attack and died. It is believed, it is believed that he was quote unquote poisoned by his wife or by their doctor because he was uh, not the greatest guy in the world. He was in affairs. He he had a mistress um, who he ended up having a daughter with. And if you ask the historians, man, this graveyard is really, really creepy and huge. If you ask the historians, like at the Harding site, if they would have been in there and I would have asked them, they would not have mentioned any sort of foul play in his death. It is believed that none of that happened, and that's what they're going to tell you. Other people think otherwise and if you ever go in that house can you see that crow this is like this is creepy anyways if you ever visit his house and you go inside and you talk to the people there you're gonna see a lot of weird eerie stuff he had like a, a pet bird that sang like the song when he was leaving the san francisco which was something like the song of death he had a clock that stopped uh when he passed away, it stopped the day of. A lot of weird stuff <clears throat> happened around his death. And there are actually people in the town of Marion that believe that that is why this town kind of went belly up under after his death was because of how his death was perceived. Um, these are all fun stories to talk about. The facts are he went to San Francisco and he passed away in office. And this is where he was buried for years until the last site I'm going to go to was constructed, done, and built. So I'm going to show you that now, which is literally right here. I'm going to let you check this out, and then we're going to go over to the final site. As you can read here, this vault has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior, 1996. So this, this vault which I'll get a better shot of in a minute, is where the body of Warren G. Harding and his wife was kept, Florence, for years inside this vault. Let me get a wider shot for you here so you can, you can see it. It actually, I was expecting it to say, there it is. The receiving vault served as a temporary resting place from 1923 until 1927 by Warren G. Harding. There it is. Okay, cool. Glad I got that correct. So let me get a better view for this for you. And there it is. Not super far into the cemetery itself. This is very easy to find. Um, but yeah, that is it. Never been inside there. Um, I, th I mean, I think there's people resting in there. I don't know. But anyways, this is it. And like I said, this cemetery is ginormous. And there's something else over there that I'm going to be putting in another video, which probably will already be out by the time you watch this. 
So check out that video as well. But let's head over to the final destination of the video now. And here we are to our final location, the Hardy Memorial Presidential Grave Site. And this, this is it. So this actually was called the Hardy Memorial for years. And then they did some work on the uh, marble around it and they changed the name to the Harding Tomb because, I mean, technically, they're here. Their bodies are here. They're resting here, final resting place. So a memorial isn't really somewhere that you have the actual people, a gravesite or a tomb is. So they changed the name to the Harding Tomb. No one liked it. And <laughs> it was like, no one called it that. So they said, we might as well change it back to the Hardy Memorial. So it is now, once again, the Hardy Memorial. And here is some visitor information here telling you be respectful, basically. And it actually lists the Harding home here, which is where we were at earlier. And then here is the Harding Memorial now. The graveyard is literally right across the street. Let's walk up here and check it out. While I'm walking up here, I'm going to talk about this for a little bit. So, Marion was devastated when President Harding unexpectedly passed away while in office. And they wanted to do something to remember him by. So they built this pretty amazing uh, memorial. And it was funded by the people in Marion. It was also funded by school kids all around the, the nation. I almost said world, but nation. It's like 200,000 kids were donating like pennies and change to get this thing built to remember President Harding and his wife, Florence. And I mean, it's pretty amazing to see. Everybody knows where this is. Uh, there's a hill over here that you sled on. I was sledding on it all the time when I was a younger kid, but it's very well known um, area in Marion. Like everybody knows this. Everybody knows if you're driving down the street and you're like, I'm passing the Harding Memorial, you know exactly where it's at. So this used to be a sundial. And they got rid of it but this is uh and it's kind of sad to see that this is pretty pretty weather worn but there's some information here kind of telling you similar things of what i just told you this is an old picture of it here um then it talks about the caretakers there's a lot of stuff to read right here and then you know here is a picture of harding and I believe his dog's name was Lassie. And that dog was almost as popular as him while he was in office. And, you know, I think there's some more stuff about him. This is uh, Florence Harding, his wife. Some stuff about her. There, okay, so remember earlier I was talking about the front porch? This is actually a, a uh, picture of the front porch campaign. And it's pretty amazing now we think about presidents and you travel to see them do their campaign speaks. However, back in the 20s, it was very common for the president to stay at his home and for people to show up outside his home and listen to him speak. And that's what the front porch campaign was. Um, pretty freaking amazing. And like I said, if you ever go inside the home, they have more pictures of that. There's like people in trees. Like this is a cut photo of maybe there's more photos, but I remember when I was in high school, there was a high school, middle school, whenever. There was a photo of like people literally in trees watching Mr. President, for, or soon to be Mr. President, uh, speak. And like I said, more stuff here, final resting place, the Harding legacy. Um, very, I mean, this is good information. Very good information to read. Like I said, I wish it wasn't so freaking beat up. That's That kind of sucks. But here it is, the amazing structure that is the Harding Memorial, located here in Marion, Ohio. Thousands and thousands of homecoming and prom photos have been taken on these steps. Trust me on that. I didn't do it, but there are so many photos. I would bet probably 90% of the population of Marion has taken photos on these steps for prom, for weddings, for whatever. This is it, man. This is where you go to Marion to take crazy photos like that. And here we walk. And here we are.
Warren G. Harding and Florence Harding. Their final resting places. As you turn around and you look back, there's the information. You can see kind of the walkway there. You can see the American flag. The cemetery is over there. Actually, if you look right there, that little rooftop, I believe, don't count me out, but I think that was where we were at just a little bit ago. I think that was it. And I think with that, we end the video. This, this is kind of the last spot to see. We talked a little bit about Warren G. Harding. Um, that music, like, like uh, the library has a lot of his artifacts. Uh, you'll see from the old archive footage I had a lot of that stuff. Like I said, I wish they'd let me uh, film and document the house. It is really cool. I highly recommend checking it out if you're just wanting to see some historic Ohio president presidential things. That is definitely a place to go check out. It is really cool that Marion has kept this stuff for a hundred years. We've we basically had this stuff here um, in my hometown. I have drove by this thing. I can't even count how many times I've drove by this thing. I have been up here many of times. It's just cool to see. And a lot of people don't know Marion. And they don't know that we had a president. And they know nothing about this town. But we do have one cool claim to fame. And that is a president was here in Marion, Ohio. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hey, hit that freaking like button. Uh, you know, subscribe. We got a lot of content coming this year and we had a lot of content last year. Check out those videos. Hopefully you enjoy this. Peace. Don't freaking litter.